The Yankees had a rocky start to the second half of the season. They got swept by the Astros, and while they did win two out of three against Baltimore, it was not without a fight and some struggle. But now with a day off, the Yankees are back in New York, but not at the Bronx. They are in Queens to take on the Mets for the first of two games, and it's the first time that both teams have faced each other when they have the best record in their division. I cannot wait to see how this one plays out. The atmosphere is going to be electric in New York for the next two days. The game starts out the way you think it would. All rise! The Honorable Evan Judge residing. That's 38. He is on pace for 63. Aaron Judge continues his red-hot, scorching, downright sexy start to the second half of the season. Yet another home run by Judge. He gives them a 1-0 lead. And then right after that, whoop, there it is. Anthony Rizzo makes it back to back for the Bombers. You can call him Jordan because that's his 23rd home run of the year. And the Yankees are up 2-0 in the first. Jordan Montgomery is finally gotten some run support. You know what he does with it? Jack Squad! Bottom of the first, it's a Marte Parte. It's a party I really don't want to get invited to. Starling Marte hits one into left, 353 feet, makes it a 2-1 game. Then after Francisco Lindor doubles, Pete Alonso with a double that goes all the way to the left center field wall. Run scores, the game is tied. Montgomery does get a strikeout after that, but it means absolutely nothing as Escobar takes one into left field. And the Yankees' lead is already gone. It's 4-2 now, Mets. Monty, we give you the run support and this is what you do with it? Stop being bad! The second inning was a bounce back for Monty, although it meant nothing in the third, though it wasn't entirely his fault. After Marte hit a double, Lindor hits one to Donaldson. Donaldson, with the worst pitch at a Mets game since 50 Cent, hits Lindor in the back. Marte scores and makes it 5-2. Josh Donaldson really testing my patience here. And while he's not in the Joey Gallo territory, he's coming close. Also, after the Tim Anderson incident, I'm sure we're going to get people on Twitter saying that Josh Donaldson wouldn't have pelted a white player in the back like that. White, black, it doesn't matter. Donaldson sucks. One more strikeout in the third, but honestly, it doesn't matter. Monty with a pretty dreadful night. His final line, two and a third, five hits, four runs, one walk, three strikeouts, two home runs on 71 pitches. A season ERA is 3.5. And he had the nerve, the audacity, to when Aaron Boone was going to pull him out of the game, to ask, why? Why? You suck, that's why! The Yankees tried to deliver in the fourth after Hicks and IKF singled, and Trevino grounded into a fielder's choice. DJ also grounded out the third, scored Hicks, made a 5-3 game. And then Judge Walk would set up the bases loaded for Anthony Rizzo to fly out to center, because the Yankees can't score with runners in scoring position anymore. I would also like to point out he swung a 3-0 in the count! What are you doing? The Yankees die a slow death immediately after that. And it's another loss for the Bronx Bombers. They're now down to 66 and 32, which is while great, not good considering how good they started off this season. The Yankees now have won four out of their last ten. And what are they? Like two and four after the All-Star break? This one was just so difficult. I mean, all their losses are painful, but this one especially. This team is really falling apart. And I feel like, you know, that's obvious if you're watching this team. But whether it's so many guys on the offense who are not hitting right now, even Matt Carpenter is terrible now. Matt Carpenter's been like 2 for 18 since the All-Star break. Look at guys like DJ and Glaber, they're struggling. And Donaldson, who has just been trash. Uh, they bring Joey Gallo in a pinch hit, and of course he sucks. Not even a whiff of, didn't even, uh, it, it was Edwin Diaz who was like stealing candy from a baby going up against Joey Gallo. That was pathetic. And to see Montgomery, and maybe I was a little too hard on Montgomery, uh, but he, he has a hard time holding on to leads. And it, 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 this was just another example. We're fine. We're giving you the one support, and you can't deliver. He has not been the great guy that we need. Um, and I saw Randy Wilkins, who directed the ESPN uh, 30 for 30 on the captain. Uh, and he was talking about the Yankees need another starter here. Like, whether it's Seve or Monty, or there's just there's so many question marks here on this roster. We need another, that's where you bring in a guy like Luis Castillo. You need somebody on this rotation to help stable. I mean, we've got Cole and we've got Nestor, but it's just there's so many other guys that I'm not feeling great about right now. And then the only positives I can take away from tonight's game is Aaron Judge continuing to try to get the 63 home runs, although it might not matter considering that, you know, if he breaks the non steroid home run record and wins the MVP, great. It won't matter if we get knocked out in the first round. 
And the other positive side was the bullpen. After Montgomery came out of the game, everybody, Marciano, Loisica, Chapman, Peralta, came through. And even Chapman, for God's sake, Chapman looked awesome and lowered his ERA to 5.48. That was great to see. But there's so many question marks here with this team right now. This team is in desperate need of a boost. They need like what Anthony Rizzo was last season when he came back onto the Yankees and gave them that nice spark for a little bit. Or like Ioannis Espedes um, back in 2015. He gave the Mets a spark. We need somebody here, whether it's a pitcher or a position player who just needs to get the team a spark. Because right now this team looks dead. They look. They don't look like they're totally into all these games. There's something kind of like, it's almost like the team is going through the motions. There's something lifeless about them. And that's really difficult to watch and consider. That, you know, we desperately need these wins. You know, we need home field advantage here in the American League. That's the only way I feel like we can beat the Astros. And to see just another bad game. And I know the Mets are a good team, so all credit to the Mets. You know, maybe it's just more Mets here tonight than Yankees. But just, there's something off about this Yankee team. Again, having that lead. And then blowing it early. And then what, we, what were we at tonight? 0 for 6 with runners in scoring position? I think that was the number. 0 for 6 with runners in scoring position. And we left 8 runners on. And then the error by Donaldson. The IKF getting picked off, which was just brain dead stupid. Rizzo getting caught stealing. This team, all the good things that we loved about this team in the first half, is starting to fall apart here in the second half. I don't know what the reason for that is. Other than maybe maybe this was just a first half team. Maybe, maybe this was a team that just had us in the first half. But then the second half, they just... Faulted. It's, it, it's just really disappointing right now, and I hope this team can get it fixed because it is not fun watching them right now. Hopefully, at least we can win tomorrow, and then maybe we can get something out of this series. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be back tomorrow to break down the second game of the series between the Yankees and the Mets. Take care and God bless.